Hi guys, this is Elise and welcome to Saturday Morning Makes where we as crafters, we get together on Saturday morning and we share the projects um, that we had a chance to work on throughout the week or Saturday morning. I know it's in the afternoon and by the way, thank you Jill Norwood so much for continuing to host this wonderful series. Um, I know I've missed a few weeks, but I'm trying to jump right back in. I've been just really, really busy and I have a craft show coming up. So I've been trying to get um, ready for that. And so I'm going to share with you guys some projects that I've done for the craft show. And I have all things fall. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you guys because I have some really fun things to share. So let me get started because this is going to be a combination of a haul video, a thrift haul video, and also some projects that I worked on for the craft show. So let me start out with the um, haul video first. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to make some things for not only fall, but also Halloween because I love crafting Halloween. And, um, and I realized that I didn't have a lot of Halloween stamps or Halloween, well, I have a lot of Halloween embellishments and things like that, but I just didn't have any stamps. I mean, I have some, but not a lot. So um, I went online and I went to search for a few things and I found a couple of stamps. But first I found these two um, scarecrow stamps and these actually both came from the, the same seller. I got these on eBay and aren't they just adorable? Here's the first one. Uh oh, sorry guys. Wait, I need to stand up. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so here's the first one. He's so adorable. So cute. That little, um, the crow on the top of his head and really, really cute. And then I got this one. They're a little similar, but not quite. So those are my two stamps and they're both in, you know, used condition. Not too bad. This one is a little dirtier on the back. It looks like the ink got on, um, you know, on the wood, wooden block, but that's okay. I'm going to clean these up and I think they'll be just fine. So those are the two wooden stamps that I got. And then I went, uh oh, sorry. I went on. I think it was Marketplace, and I was also looking for Halloween stamps there. Sorry, guys. I need a tripod. I'm still using this um, bendable arm, and when you hit it, it just, you know, bounces back and forth. So I apologize for that. Um, so I went on Marketplace, and I found a seller that was getting rid of a couple of Halloween stamp sets. And this one is by Will & Way, which I've never heard of that company before. And let me see if there is a, uh, this is, I was looking for um, a year, but it came from Hobby Lobby. So there's the Hobby Lobby sticker. And it looks like this person paid $17.99, wow, for this stamp set. And I think I got both of these for $8, I think it was. So there's the first one. And well, let me show you this one a little bit more. It's really cute. So adore. I've never heard of Will and Way. I've never even seen that at Hobby Lobby. Have you? Let me know if you've heard of this company before. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby still carries. Like I said, I've never seen that stamp company before. And then this one is actually a Paper Studio stamp set. And I love this one because I love this little guy right here with the ghost costume on. So adorable. And then there's a couple sentiments. This one says um, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, Trick or Treat, uh, Halloween, and Boo. So cute, and there's a little spider with a witch hat. And look at this cat, so cute. So I'm gonna be able to make a, a couple of really cute Halloween cards with these two sets. Okay, so then, and then, oh, it also came with this, this block stamp, says Spectacular. So I'll be using that as well, that's really cute. And then I did order from um, Peachy Keen, uh, Jill Norwood. Uh, hi, Jill. She was able to convince the owners of Peachy King to come out of retirement and offer a couple of stamp sets. And I don't know if it's too late. I think it may be, but you can check with Jill. I'll put the link to her channel and that um, video in the description box below. And these are the stamp sets that I got. Now, I do have some Peachy King, Peachy King stamp sets, uh, face stamp sets but I wanted these two. And then she's also coming out with a Jill's favorite. I'm excited to see what that looks like. But this one is the um, Fun Shine. And look at those faces. So cute. 
and this is how they look. This is how the size that they are, a nice size. And these are for uh, great for gingers or um, snowman faces, whatever you want to put them on. And they, these are the spy, spa girl faces. So adorable. So I have not done any gingers yet this year. And I decided that I was going to wait. I didn't get a chance to do anything for Christmas in July, but that's okay because I have some things that I have worked on, but I don't want to like break my momentum from working on fall right now to get ready for this craft show. So I'm not going to do that right now, but I do have um, some tags in the works and, and on my plan and cards as well. So, okay. So I got those. So those are my peachy keen stamp sets. Thank you so much, Jill, for going the extra mile to get them to uh, bring this to us so that we can enjoy these stamp sets as, sets as well. So, okay, so then I went to the thrift shop, the thrift store, actually the Goodwill, and I found a couple of um, really cute fall mugs. And look at this one. So cute. Now, I really don't necessarily do owls, but I'm thinking that maybe I can do something with this for the craft show. I'm not sure yet what, but um, I got this one and it was only 79 cents. So I got that one. And then I got this one. So I'm going to try to do something with these for the craft show. And when I do that, I will come back and share those with you guys. Okay. And then I got some fabrics. Now, these fabrics were $1.99 for all of this fabric. So let me show you the ones that I got. And I got these from the Goodwill. They came together. I still have to wash these. But look how cute this is. This is so perfect for fall. You can cut these scarecrows out or you can make something with a piece of it. I just love this. I saw this and I just could not leave it for $1.99. Now this one is not fall, but it still is pretty. It's uh, red with these uh, gold stars. And I thought this would be great on the back of something. Like if you're um, decorating or embellishing a wooden piece and you need to put something on the back, this would be really pretty to put on the back. So... And then this one, oh my gosh, when I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh. Now, I love Halloween, guys. I love, love crafting for Halloween. It's one of my favorite things to craft for is Halloween. But look at this fabric. Look at this fabric, guys. Look at those little witchies. So cute. This And there's a lot there. It's a good amount there. So, and then look at this. This is like a, a gingham plaid kind of gingham pattern and it's uh orange black and white i just love these two those two are my favorite and then there's a lot of this see how much there is of this and this is a christmas fabric it's really pretty i don't know what i'll do with it it'll make a really pretty journal cover or something so i got that so i got all this fabric for a dollar 99 so that came from the goodwill and then let me show you what else I got at the Goodwill. Okay, this was a great find. Okay, let me just move over here. Okay, so this right here, I got this for $4.99. Let me show you. Wait, it's big. Let me just get it up on the table and then without trying to hit my camera. Okay, so I got it for $4.99. You can see that. And what it is, is a bag, a brand new bag of six stuffed pumpkins. I'm going to take one out and show you. This was a great find, and this is how they look. Look how cute, and they're nice and clean. The, the plastic was a little dirty on the outside, but it was not open. I opened it, and these are from Hallmark, and they were retailing for $6.47. See the little tag? I'm not sure how old they are, but the tag says $6.47. They're from Hallmark. And these are so adorable. So, of course, I'm going to take this off, take this off, and try to do something. I do have an idea, um, but I got to order something to go with it. So, um, when I come back, I'll come back and show you guys what I do with these. But aren't these adorable? I mean, these are so nice, and they're so nice and stuffed. And I got six of these, brand new. So, I'm going to do something with these for the craft fair. I just thought these were so cute. And for $4.99, I could not pass those up. When I saw those on the shelf, they were like on the bottom shelf. I grabbed them so fast. I was so excited. So I'm going to move these out of the way because I'm going to show you the fabric that I have on my table. 
because I'm gonna show you one of the projects that I worked on. Okay, so the, the fabric that you see on my table, I got from Hobby Lobby and it has these, these uh, squares and rectangles with these images, so pretty. It says hot apple cider. There's a white truck here with pumpkins in the back, it says autumn. This one says, welcome fall, celebrate fall, gather autumn blessings. This one says, hello fall. And this is the one that I use, this rectangle right here, this image right here for the next project. So let me show you what I made. And these are gonna be for the craft fair. Okay, so I made these little hanging signs. And look how cute. I think it turned out darling. So what I did was I went to um, Dollar Tree and got a pack of these wooden uh, planks and I um, painted them white and then I mod podged the image on the top and just border, put a, a rick rack border around it and then I just added some um, wire with a little rusty bell and my, okay, my rusty bell, I rust my own metal pieces and let me show you guys because someone was asking me about it. Just a second, guys. I just had a little spill there. Okay, someone was asking me about it. And um, I do rust my own metal pieces. So this is some wire, which... Now, the wire did not rust. I think it's because it wasn't um, fully immersed into the solution. And so I'm going to redo this. But it is rusty. You just can't really tell so much. It's not as rusty as I want it to be because I like my things really, really rusty. But I, I did use it because it does have some rust on it. But here are my safety pins and my jingle bells. See how rusty those are? And let me just give you a quick, um, if you don't know how, I mean, there's lots of, you know, tutorials out there and it's pretty much the same everywhere you go and look. But let me tell you what I did. What I did, I just put the things that I wanted to rust in a bowl and I just covered it with peroxide and I let it sit. Um, no, I put I covered it with peroxide and added about mm, two to three tablespoons of uh, vinegar, white vinegar, and I let it sit for about 30 minutes or so. And then after about 30 minutes, I added um, a couple heaping tablespoons of salt regular salt, table salt, and I let mine sit overnight. Now, some people let theirs sit for an hour, 30 minutes, or whatever. It depends on how rusty you want your metal pieces to be. I like mine to be really, really rusty, so I let mine sit overnight, and this is how they turn out. So, so that's, that's that. So that's how you do that. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so let's go back to the project here. Okay, so here's my little, my little project. So here's my image with my Rick Rack. And then I just added one of the rusty bells with a little bit of gingham. And then I added one of these sunflowers on top of the, um, the wire piece. And I just put a little button on the back. And I did paint the back of the board white as well. So that's how those turned out. And I have four of these and they're all the same. Pretty much all the same. That one I had to put... I ended up putting the ribbon on the opposite side, but they're all the same. And I think they turned out really pretty. Now I'm going to do something different with, I'll probably make some more of these, but use a different image and embellish them a little bit differently. But that's one of the projects that I'm working on for the craft show It's making some of these little hanging signs. And I think they just turned out really, really pretty. Okay. So another thing that I did was I was at the Goodwill one day and I found this little girl. Isn't she adorable? I found this little girl and it's a candle holder. It's a votive candle holder. And I decided to make a pin cushion. And I just used some of this um, vintage inspired looking fabric, which is really pretty. And I just stuffed it with some batting and added it there. And then this little sunflower here, I got this from Susan Laverty. And I just put it, a pin on it just to give it some decoration. And then I added some pins. So how cute is that? So I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to use this in my own craft room and keep her. I don't think I'm going to sell her. I may take her to the craft show with me. Who knows? But um, but I want to share that with you guys. And then the last thing I want to share, I did an Instagram post and show my um, fake candy apples. And this is how they turned out. And I think they turned out so cute and they look so real, guys. Look at this. Look how cute this is. 
Look how cute. Now, you can put your candy apple um, topping on the top of your apple or on the bottom, or I like to cover as much as I can and just leave some at the top. It just depends. And all I need to do now is just add some ribbon or some twine or something to each one of these. But I think they turned out so adorable and they look so real. Even my husband was really impressed. He thought they were really, really cute. And when I posted these, people could not believe that they were not real because they do look real. And I got the apples, guys, at the Goodwill. Um, I just kept going to the Goodwill and every time I would see a couple apples, I would grab them. Now you have to be careful because sometimes the Goodwill, they'll have an, one single apple mark for like 99 cents. And to me, that's just way too much. So I just kept looking until I saw like a bag of apples and I got a couple bags. One bag was like $2.99 and it was like six or seven apples in it in the bag. And it had some other fruit and stuff in there too, but I just wanted the apples. And then I got another bag because I have more. This is not all I have. Um, I have another bag. I got another bag for, I think, $3.99. And there were like almost maybe 10 or 12 apples in that bag. So I got a better deal doing it that way opposed to getting one apple at a time. You can also go to Ross and TJ Maxx and places like that and, and look out for bags of apple because this is the time to get these apples. So, so that's what I did there. And that's what I have guys to share with you guys for Saturday morning makes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you are not a subscriber, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and hit that subscribe button. And you can even hit that notification button. I'm trying to do more videos. Um, it's a really busy time of the year right now. And, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to, to do more videos. So, but I just wanted to share those things with you guys. I have lots to share with you guys. I have so many things to share, but right now I have to get busy and stay busy and get ready for this craft show. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good evening and I'll talk with you later. Bye.